This is Mabel Town. Now this is what we call Knob Hill. Snob Hill. Not Knob Hill up at the top. Snob Hill this way and and Happy Happy Hollow down here. I've been here 47 years. I've been here 47 years. I mean, that's all of our life. Over half of our lives is right here. Yeah. It took everything I was making yeah. to pay the house note and, and the utilities. And then and, you weren't and, physically able to right, keep up with right. that. Like I came up with diabetes and went on dialysis. So I tried to sell the house for three years. That's when the economy really went down. Finally, I woke up one morning and I said, I'm not going to do it no more. I'm just going to tell them to come get it. As much as I love my daughter and my grandkids, it'll never be the same uh, as, as what I had here. When you move in with your children, you don't have that uh, privacy no. and all that you had in your own place. And that's why I want to stay healthy and stay at my house as long as I can. Because... Uh, well, if anybody had told me that I would still be on this earth, yeah. 15 years ago, I said, you're crazy, because my daddy died at age 63. Once the promise of the American dream, the suburbs were built for young families who drive. But that's not who lives here anymore. Today, most Americans are growing old in the suburbs. And what has happened just over decades is the majority of the suburban expansion focused on that three bedroom house with the two and a half baths. And that was to support the baby boomers as they were first young themselves and then raising their own kids. We have houses over here. We have our stores in another location. We have our library and post office in another location, all of which are connected by the use of an automobile. What do you do when you can no longer live there, when you can no longer drive? Are you isolated? Can you stay within your community? Do those different housing options exist for you? This will always be home. I went to a couple of senior citizen places up there and, and I, wasn't, like I, I wasn't impressed at all. Oh. So I says, I'm just not gonna worry about it. I'll go back down to Mableton and see my friends down here. Yeah. <laughs> How is it that we redesign an entire community that will meet these changing needs of our population, uh, both for the young and for the old, because subsequently, if you make a place senior friendly, it's also kid friendly, which makes it a perfect scenario, especially in your suburban areas.